Hello everyone. Welcome to Oracle Fusion Technical Training by InnoGeeks. In this video, we'll see how to use lookups in Fusion application. And we'll also talk about the configuration level associated with the lookup. And we'll understand how configuration level associated with the lookup impacts what you can perform on that particular lookup. Okay, so every lookup in Oracle Fusion application will have a configuration level associated with it. And the configuration level will decide what tasks are permitted on that particular lookup. So to help you guys understand this, this easily, I've given uh, a table wherein I've mentioned what are the possible configuration levels uh, that you can have in a lookup. You can have a lookup with a configuration level of user. It could be extensible or it could be system. And I've given uh, one example of a lookup which has the which is which has that configuration level. So if you take this pay based state, it is an out of the box lookup given by Oracle, which has a configuration level of system. And since the configuration level is system, you will not be able to perform anything on that lookup. You can it max view the view the entries uh, that are there on the lookup, but you can't add in new entries or delete the existing ones. And you have uh, something called as extensible, and as you can make out from the name itself. Oh, yeah, if, if you if you take this particular lookup, for example, disability reason, okay, to this lookup, Oracle has used or attached a configuration level of extensible, which means Oracle has given few entries in the lookup. So it has Oracle has created the lookup. It has also given some entries in there. And what you could do is you could extend that lookup and add in your additional entries that you want. But what you cannot do is you cannot delete the lookup and you cannot update the tags or you cannot update the module on a lookup. But when it comes to a user configuration level uh, or lookups with user configuration level, you will be able to perform anything you want in there. And yes, uh, some of the serial lookups given by Oracle do have a configuration level of user as well, such as the case of marital status. Okay. And first of all, what is a lookup? I should have, uh, I should have talked about this first before I explain the configuration levels. Lookups are a way to a way to configure or, or to store values in a configurable manner. Say, for example, if you want to store some some attributes which might change in future, in such case, what do you do? You make you capture those values in a lookup, and then wherever you need to refer them, either within the application pages or within a BIP report, you pull the values from a lookup. So that tomorrow, if the value changes, you don't need to edit those components. Instead, you just come to the lookup and update it. Say, for example, uh, let's take the case of tax rate. So if you have a tax rate of say 20% at the moment, and uh, you want to use it in some calculation in a BIP report, and you don't know whether the 20% will remain as is uh, forever, okay? It will it will definitely change. So uh, one way to uh, capture the tax rate is you could hard code it in the BIP report query in the data model. And if you do it that way, tomorrow if the tax rate changes, client will have to either look for uh, you or me, uh, or Fusion Technical Consultant, I mean, and uh, we have to come in and edit the data model, change the data tax rate from 22, uh, maybe 25 or 15, whatever might be the case. But if you capture it in a lookup, client can help themselves. Uh, so whenever the tax rate changes, they just go to lookup and make the change. Uh, they change it from 25 to 20, or maybe 20 to 25 or 15. And when they're in the BAP report, since you're pulling a value from a lookup, uh, it will the BAP report will pull the latest value from a lookup and, and it works pretty fine. So that's a, that's a, a basic concept behind the lookups. Okay, so yes, there are there are thousands, if not if not uh, more than that. Uh, yeah, there are thousands of lookups given by Oracle, seeded ones. These three are also seeded ones for that matter. And the way Oracle uses the lookups is it captures the entries in a lookup, it captures values in a lookup, and it uses it derives the values from a lookup and displays them in the application pages. So in the application pages, so you have all the create pages or or the setup pages right so wherever you see a page and if on a particular page if if you have to display a marital status lov say for example you see uh, you think of a person management screen and if you try to edit the edit the personal details you will have a marital status field in there and when you click on the drop down you should be able to see some valid values from marital status so what oracle could have done is it might be pulling values from this marital status lookup and displaying the list in there Okay, that's how the lookup works, or that's how the lookups are used by Oracle internally. So, 
yeah with this background with this background let's get into the application and how do you access lookups you have to go to fsm for that click on the drop down setup and maintenance go to global search manage common lookups and you can create a new lookup how do you create a new one all you have to do is click on the plus icon and add an entry there so i say you know gates so tax rate i'll use the same same as a meaning as well and i need to attach it to a module you could pick up an application common or pick up a relevant module and then you need to so if you create a custom lookup it will have a configuration level of user by default and you can't change it and you need to save the lookup before you could add lookup values save this and let's make a let's make a couple of entries in there let's say for the tax rate for say a specific state is so state 1 i'll just keep it generic and i'll say the tax rate is say yeah i can use state 1 here yeah. for tax rate is say let's let's say it's 10 yeah use 10 there and for say state 2 let's say the tax rate is 20 just to keep it simple so we'll keep save this so this is how you create a lookup and make entries into the lookup and once you make entries into the lookup in in wherever uh, in whatever pages or or in a bip report wherever there is a requirement to pull the tax rate for a particular state what you could do instead of hard coding the tax rate in there you could hit this lookup and uh, try to uh, pass in pass in a, a state as an input and get the description and use it as a tax rate so the information that you enter in this particular screen it gets stored in a table called fnd common lookups okay so this this is uh, this is the table that captures uh, the the lookup name or the lookup header details and fnd lookup values this is a table that stores the, that stores the lookup entries okay so if you hit this table now or uh, with this uh, with this uh, lookup type you will get two entries in there okay so let's save and close done and and let's go back into into the uh, into the same task again and let's try to see how the configuration level affects the lookup affects the permitted tasks on a lookup so let's go back into the same task again manage common lookups open it and let's try to query the pay pay based state lookup search for it so this is one of the seeded lookup in fact these all these three are the seeded lookups given by oracle but the pay based state it has the configuration uh, it has a configuration level of system and what it means is you cannot make any change within the lookup you cannot either or take out the entries or you cannot add in entries into the lookup and if you take this particular uh, lookup this lookup is used by oracle on the payroll definition page on the payroll definition page so when you define a payroll you will have you have to select an option for a payroll period start date and end date so you have to select uh, what is it that you want to use um, uh, for a payroll definition is it is it the start date or is it the end date that you want to use as a base date okay so that's how that's how oracle defines lookups and uses them and oracle doesn't want clients to make changes to this uh, to this particular lookup so that's why it has given uh, it has delivered this lookup with a configuration level of system system you cannot do anything user you can do everything uh, which is which is the case with a new lookup that you create or there are also some examples of a lookup that oracle delivers with a user configuration level such as a marital status So if you go in here, you will be able to see all the all the marital status that Oracle has delivered. You could also add in new entries if you want. All you have to do is click on the plus icon and add in the new entry there. And all you have to do is just save it. 
And what you will notice is you will also be able to delete the new entries that you are going to add. Okay, but not the ones given by Oracle. Okay. And in between the user and the system, there is a configuration of a configuration level called extensible. And if a lookup has a configuration level of extensible, what that means is yet yeah, the lookup is given by Oracle. It also gives you some, some entries by default. And if you want, if you want, you can extend the lookup by adding additional entries in there. Okay. And if you, uh, if you, one more thing you will notice is that you will not be able to delete the ones uh, given by Oracle. So if you look at these three entries, these three are the entries given by Oracle. So this entry in specific. So this entry and this entry, these two are given by Oracle and you won't be able to delete them. But if you look at the other entries, the, the other entries are entered by, uh, by, by the client and they will be able to, they will still be able to delete them. So extensible, you can extend it and you can also delete the entries that you add, but you can't delete the ones that are given by Oracle. Okay, so this is how uh, the configuration level of lookup determines what, what tasks are permitted on that specific lookup. Okay, in the next video, we'll see how to uh, display values of lookup in flex fields. So this is an interesting uh, topic, guys. And I've got this request from many students or I've got this question in specific from students who attended interviews recently. And in most of the interviews, people are asking this question. So normally when you define flex fields, if you don't know what flex fields are, we have done uh, three or four videos on that. Uh, so go watch them, understand what a flex fields are. And normally when you create flex fields, you attach value sets to them. And uh, and when you see, uh, and after you deploy the flex fields, when the, when the flex field segments are enabled, you will see a list of values in the on the page getting displayed. So that's how it normally works. You create value sets and you attach them to flex field segments. But what if you want to pull the values from a lookup and display it in a flex field? How do you do it? Okay, so if you want to figure that out, please join me in the next video. Thank you very much for watching this one, guys. Uh, if you are interested in Oracle Fusion technical training offered by Unogeeks, please call us on this number or send a WhatsApp message. We'll be more than happy to help. Thank you.